So I'm Augustin Magolawondo, I come from Malawi. And uh, I was in Germany uh, for studies between the year 2000 and 2005. Initially the studies were meant to last only for 18 months. So I came for a, a master's program in development and management at Bochum. And uh, then after two years, I got a chance that I could proceed uh, with um, uh, funding from the uh, German Research Foundation, DFG, and do a PhD in political science. Presently, I am working with uh, a Dutch organization called the Netherlands Institute for Mad Party Democracy as uh, the representative uh, for this organization in Africa. And specifically, that uh, organization works towards strengthening of political parties and party systems in developing democracies. I had the opportunity of getting a job before I left Germany. Uh, I think um, in this particular case, it was, I think, uh, an opportunity. Uh, but of course, there were also some challenges uh, that I experienced. Adapting, you know, from a more structured, more organized society to a less structured, you know, less organized society was one big challenge. And, uh, and, and secondly, I think uh, just uh, also uh, finding yourself in an environment where uh, sometimes you, you get to be exposed to uh, situations that, uh, you know, you've not been part of for a while. So after five and a half years, you know, society develops and sometimes it develops much faster than, 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 than yourself have, have imagined. So adapting to new environments was, was one of the challenges. But overall, uh, it wasn't quite a big challenge. First, to, have, to allow the students to have the opportunity of uh, remaining in touch with their regions and countries. And there, there are a couple of options. One is the possibility where if a student is uh, uh, doing his studies or her studies here in Germany, probably to do an internship in a developing country rather than to do an internship in Germany. Or maybe to have the possibility of doing research in a developing country or maybe in a home country combined with other countries. I think that's, that's very, very important. Secondly, uh, it's important for DAD to probably look at possibilities of uh, uh, supporting students to also undertake their studies uh, within their regions that they are familiar with uh, because most of the courses which are being offered now in Germany are also available uh, in, in, in universities in the developing countries. So if there would be a possibility of doing so, that doesn't mean that um, uh, DAD will then disengage students from Germany but uh, you can actually now reverse the order whereby students do internship in Germany or they do their research in Germany or in Europe, uh, but then you have students who are constantly engaged, you know, with, um, uh, with, with, with their regions. And thirdly, finally, I think it's important if DAD uh, can look at the possibilities of ensuring that uh, in between there is an interface and connection between those students who are still studying in Germany and those who have finished, so they can share experiences and share you know, some of the tips you know, and hints in terms of how to, to best integrate. Having lived in Germany doesn't change the world. Uh, in fact, it raises expectations which may not be met. So be modest in what you expect. Be flexible, uh, because uh, obviously, just as you adapted uh, by, by adjusting the, the, to the German environment, you would also be expected to adapt. So being flexible is one key rule. And I think the other thing is uh, you know, to, to, to always ensure that uh, uh, you are going back not necessarily to change people, People will not change overnight, not just with your presence, but maybe develop a sense of understanding them, you know, much better and in a better way. And so in this way, I think you are being modest, you are being flexible and you are more understanding.